You guys, it's finally here. Sims 4, Cats and Dogs. Um, so I'm, this video is going to be a bit of a look into the create a pet. Um, I don't think I'll go too in depth. I believe that Halsey and I, so my sister and I, will be uh, doing a video more in depth in create a pet. So I just want to get my initial reactions to all of these things. But for what pops up right now, we have create. Use a powerful create a pet tool to express your creativity as you customize your sim's perfect pets. Um, choose from a variety of breeds, give them distinct personalities, as we'd all expect. Experience the companionship and fun that furry friends bring to your sim's lives. They have their mind of their own and form a special relationship with your sims based on their daily interactions. And this, I think, is going to be our next Let's Play basis. Become a vet and run a clinic. Build a veterinary clear clinic, hire a dedicated staff, and further your career as the town's most promising animal doctor. You're in control of daily operations from the services offered to what you ch uh, charge. Okay. And then explore a whole new area. So yeah, I'll be putting out the... Uh, four videos that I normally do when an expansion comes out. Apologize to those of you who don't follow me for The Sims, but I'm just too excited, so I'm going to be showing off. Oh god, can you see the drool coming off that dog's face? Look at all that drool. Oh, the poor puppy has got lights. Oh, and expect copious amounts of cooing and baby voice. I apologize in advance. I can't help myself. So, let's jump into create pet. Hello, good sir. We don't care about you. We want add a pet. Uh, let's add a dog. What even is this? What kind of dog is this? Wow. And up here, it looks like you can change the position they're in. Let's see what it looks like sitting, sitting pretty, showing off the belly. Oh, what a good puppy! And then we've got. Let's go ahead and set up normal again. You can adjust how muscular they are, which is interesting, and their weight. We got a chunky puppy, and not so chunky. Alright. Oh man, there are a lot and a lot of breeds. Oh, and it looks like they have the different color variations that are, I guess, standard for this kind of dog. Alright, so, wow, oh, there's Dalmatians. Such pretty puppies. Don't see them very often though. Oh, here is the little fox. I think they have their own voice and stuff. You can. Oh, it looks like a little wolf puppy. A uh, little black fox and a little white one. Oh. Oh my god! My uh, sister in law, as it were, she has one of these, I think. His name's Bowser. And she has a little peach backpack for him. Oh, a little Bowser. All right. Oh, look how pointy it is. Such a pointy puppy. Let's and you can search. So husky. They're one of my favorites. Oh, look how fluffy he is. Ah, those big old blue eyeballs. So let's stick with um this for now. Let's go with head shape. And you can do. <laughs> Where your face go? <laughs> oh, much better. So we got the, all kinds of presets to the faces, and obviously you can get in here and do, you know, oh, smiley puppy, sad puppy. You can get all those sliders that you would all over the place in the other, like, human sims. Shocked puppy. Unamused puppy. Does not appreciate what I'm doing to it. Oh. So you can adjust the ear- oh! <laughs> ear flops! Lazy ears, stand back up. There we go. We'll just leave it at an unamused. So then we have the different types of ears that you can have. We've got all kinds of big old noses. Oh, you can have like different colored little noses. Big noses. We've got the eye color. Oh, this is something that's new with pets and it would be really cool if they'd put this onto the default sims as well, but you can have... 
I can't remember what it's called. I was trying to sound cool and like I knew what I was talking about, but I couldn't do it. But uh, the two colored eyes, which is so cool. Like so. And then we can go into paint. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, so let's grab some blue so we can do see what we're doing. Does that mirror? Oh, it does. And then I think fill color. Oh my god, we have a blue dog. That's not too <laughs> no blue doggies here. And then we can have the, it mirrored or not mirrored. So we can do it on just the one. Or we can mirror it. As you can see. Let's undo all of that. Oh man, and you've got like... You can give them unique stripes that you'd expect for your animal. You can freaking rotate it. Um, and you can change the size of it. Like so. It looks like a dog almost. <laughs> yeah, they've got all kinds of patterns. You can give them, you know, bright green little spots. Any dragon spot? Yep, there we go. Oh, wow. Um, and you can change, like, the transparency so you can make it so it's not quite as bold or go all the way up. Commit. You do any color you want. Poor unamused puppy. <laughs> oh, so what's this? Ew. Alright, let's undo all this. I apologize, pretty puppy. Alright, there we go. Uh, so we can give them little butt prints if we want. Oh my god, there's a jellyfish! Awesome. Yeah, there's all kinds of just prints that you can s stamp on here. There's a, a crab. There's the plum bob. I don't know why you'd want to give your pets tattoos, but that's your thing. Here it is. Cover it in kisses. What's this? Oh. So this looks like an overall fur color? What is this? Stencils. Okay. So if I go down to say this shape right here and choose it essential preview yes okay and now if i choose a color oh so i get you so we can paint some cool designs on our robot dog now yeah okay i see how this works i get it so you can have a robot dog and then you turn off the stencil and there he is so I could do something like, I want blue stripes, and it's going to stick to those that pattern. So we can have, let's go bright yellow, the stitches, like um, like a Franken's mon Frankenstein's monster kind of situation. Something along those lines. Or a patchwork puppy. Ew, you're so, I'm so sorry. <laughs> wow. All right, and then you, you, there's an eraser, obviously, and dropper and a brush. All right, holy cow. Um, let's see, what do we got over here? <laughs> Active. So it looks like each breed will. Uh, if you choose a breed, it'll come with a default. I guess you can take it off if you want. But you have things like active, enjoy running and frequent walks. They're adventurous, aggressive, glutton, friendly. Couch potato, hairy, hunter, independent, wow, troublemaker. Oh, don't poop, don't poop on- Oh, Bad dog, just poop on my video. So then we've got a curious- Oh, poor puppy. Alright. So another thing that's kind of cool about it is you can go add a pet. Let's add another puppy. One that's not a- what the- Okay, um, let's go with uh, this guy. Oh, sweetie. That's another active breed, isn't it? <laughs> let's go with maybe something a little... Oh, it's so... F Akitas. What are they? Loyal? Is that what that is? Yeah. So let's take this... Uh, oh, I forgot. You can have... Oh god, squeaky dog. Big ball dog. 
All right, and we can change him to, oh, sweet little elderly puppy, or, and, oh, no. ah, it's too cute. That's not even fair. Look at that little face. I apologized ahead of time, you guys. So, <laughs> I think that's the fox-specific sound. Oh no! Stop it! Stop being so freaking cute. Okay, so we'll turn this one back to a boy, and then we'll check out this guy. Let's make it a girl. Um, and then we can do this. Play with genetics, I'd assume. And since we have this puppy, we can choose. Oh no! So the paintings go can be applied to the next puppy. All right, let's add this guy in. So this one ended up getting its. Oh, it's got the two eye colors from one parent. It's got like the upper tail from the second parent. So let's randomize it. Oh no, it's so cute. So it looks like they try to combine the two. Uh, it's fur styles, colors, ears, all of that. What happened to your ears, little buddy? Let's make it. Ah, I see. It's a little easier to see what parts of each dog comes out in a bigger form because puppies are just big piles of cute. They don't look any different. So then we got this guy. Oh, it looks like one eye was squintier than the other, but I think it's just the way it's painted and stuff. Ah, oh, that's so cool. Goodness, you're a beefy boy. So that is the dogs um, and what you can do with them. Oh, there's different walks? No. Household relationship. Little waggly butt. All right, and then we'll take a glance at the cats, but I think that'll be the main subject of my video. Oh, hi little one. You're so pretty. Look at all these cat breeds. Does anyone know cat breeds? <laughs> like everyone knows dog breeds and then it's like, this is my cat. <laughs> it is a cat. Usually comes with a personality trait. This is my cat. It's a jerk. But you don't ever say like, this is my blue Russian. Is it blue Russian or Russian blue? Can't remember. But I don't know if I actually, I got, I think I got way too distracted in uh, what I was doing with just the body. Let's see, we had the breeds. So we have the different types of tails, you know, little droopy, little nub tails. Those are so sad though. Little pug tails on big dogs. Here's the coats and fur patterns that you can give them. So you can choose a breed and then, you know, you can completely change it up. So with a hint of pink, we can do big fluffy, lean, furred, poodle. Those poor dogs. <laughs> oh lord, look at all of these options. And then there's pet clothing. So we could give this buddy some... They've got hats, so we can have that or... <laughs> a unicorn horn. We can do collars. A little bow tie with polka dots. <laughs> these poor animals. You can give them harnesses. So kind of a standard one with whatever, whatever colors you want. Or you can do sharks, because you're cool like that. It is now a unicorn shark. We have tops. It just looks like one of the sim shirts tossed on their dog. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that exact pattern is one of them. Uh, I always have a soft spot for dogs with bandanas on. Um, my grandma always had a Newfoundland and he was a big black dog. And they lived in a very forested, very small town kind of area. So there was actually a chance if people were out hunting or something, they could mistake him as a bear. Uh, so they always had these really bright colored uh, handkerchiefs around his neck so that nobody ever got scared of him and he never got hurt or something. We can have a superhero dog. And then here's the paint mode that I jumped so quickly. Oh, I apologize. Uh, Woohoo! You can make some really- I'm excited to go through the, um, the, the gallery to see what people have come up with, you know? 
because people with way more creativity than me could come up with some pretty cute puppies. Um, let's see. How do I get out of here? This thing. Yes. Now, I was curious if by having a different, smaller breed. What's a small dog breed that I don't hate? Uh. <laughs> a wee little corgi. Uh. <laughs> so there's that, and then I wanted to see if the clothing changed based on the dog size. Oh, it does. So the little dogs can also have bows and grilled cheese faces, as well as the unicorn horn. They have pretty much all the same collars as the other uh, bigger breeds do. They can have a shark harness, but not a standard one. They can have a wee little dress. Goodness. Or oh, puppy dress. Uh, what else? A hoodie. <laughs> Keep those ears warm. Some of the same shirts. You can give them some pajamas. And that uh, sweater again. And then, of course, the bandanas. And then what costumes? We got a little dinosaur, sh alligator, crocodile, something. I don't know. And obviously the hot dog. And oh, like a little fluffy teddy bear thing. I guess dogs have different, the puppies, or the smaller dogs have different tails. Oh no, give, what, what do corgis usually have? Er? Sure, let's go with that. I don't remember. <laughs> what does the puppy look like, though? Important questions to be asking here, you know. Down to a puppy. Oh no, it's so tiny and fluffy and fat. Got all these tails again. Wait, why are you still yellow? That one. Look at this little tiny tail. Um... Oh, no. I was at the store today and somebody was uh, training like a guard, uh, not guard dog, a guide dog, but it was like tinier than my cats. Probably half the size of my cats. It was teeny tiny puppy. I'm surprised they found but like one of the little, they had like orange vests or whatever to mark that they're in training. I'm surprised they have them that small. <laughs> it was so tiny. This is one of my favorite looking kitties. But again, the important questions. How does it look as a baby mama? Oh no! It's so little. What do we got for um, types of cats? Affectionate, aloof, clever, free spirit, frisky, fluffy. I wonder what the fluffy trait causes. Oh god. No! Little baby! Oh god! Uh, they're more fluffy than usual. They'll hack up hairballs more often. Well, I don't know if that's something I want. Skittish, prowler, talkative, territorial. Spoiled. Alright. Look at you go. Oh, they're so freaking adorable. That's ridiculous. Uh, this thing. Oh, I forgot to mention you can... <laughs> Uh, something else that you can do with the pets is create a be breed. So, like, when we can mate that puppy between those two dogs, we could have had that breed saved and for later uses. Okay, so what have the kitties got? We've got a shark head. We've got a little fluffy lion head. <laughs> Cheese. And a top hat. And then we've got standard collars, bow tie collar off tops we have a sweater another sweater a t-shirt <laughs> like a biker's vest and a hoodie but their ears are toasty we've got a, like a dragon i feel like it was a missed opportunity to have it come all the way down to their butt we can make the cat uh sushi a taco or a little samurai warrior. Because that's what I dress my cats as. You, you know. Samurai kitties. Sorry! Keep trying to click on the cat to get back to where I was at, you know? There's another... Oh. Oh my god. He's amazing. 
this an actual cat? I can't imagine this is an actual cat. What's this called? Oh, it's just a fur type. We're looking for breeds. Uh, there's another special breed in here. There it is. You can have a raccoon. Let's get all of the clothing off it. Oh, apologies for the... There we go. So you can have a big old fat raccoon. Um, and they pretty much act like a cat, I think. No! Wow. But they have their own voice. Versus the cat. <laughs> Versus the cat. So you can have cats, dogs, foxes, and raccoons, I think. So it comes in this pack. So yeah, that's... What, can you breed a cat and a raccoon? More important questions to be asked. Okay, so there's there's Foofy Kitty, and we'll make another one uh, through genetics. Oh, sweet kitten. So... Can we have like a... <laughs> my, I mean, my cat does sound like that when she's barking at something, but... Yes, you can breed the cats and the raccoons to make these things. So you can make this face, if that's what you want with your life. Anyway, so uh, that's going to be it for this episode, I guess. Yeah, alright, fine. <laughs> we'll roll with it. So that's going to be it for this episode. I will be putting out more videos on the new DLC. Well, the next one will probably be looking at... Maybe the Sims, seeing if there's any new clothes and stuff like that. So we'll look at create a Sim. We'll be looking at the world. And then I don't think I'll cover gameplay specifically in its own separate video. That will be in the Let's Play that will be coming out. So those are what you can be looking forward to. Uh, but until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day.